Hey guys, this is how to make a payment plan inside Stripe. So there's a few different ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the really simple, uh, one simple way to do it, and one that's um, not necessarily a more complex way of doing it, but if you sell a certain package or service or product that is three payments of something recurring, we're gonna show you how to do that, but how to build it out to where every time someone buys that, they um, yeah, they, they just get the same payment plan, then you don't have to do the manual part I'm about to show you. So what you're gonna have to do is, for one, you have to have a Stripe account, have it set up with your bank account. This video is not about that. They make it real easy, walk you through it, so we're not gonna cover that. What you're gonna do is you need to be logged into the Stripe dashboard. Maybe I'll make myself a little smaller. All right, cool, so once we hop into here, we're gonna see all the stuff on the left side. It's a good idea just to kind of click around and see what is actually in each different area of here. In this case, we're gonna to go to customers, we're gonna to go to, you can go to invoices, but in this case, we're gonna to go to subscriptions. Now what we're gonna do is we have to make a new subscription. So we're gonna click new subscription and then my face is covering what we gotta work on. So you have to find a customer. Now, if you don't have the customer yet, you can add the new customer or you can um, you know, just pick the one I have. We're gonna click JND at doe.com. In this case, um, we have monthly consulting, 1500 a month. It's 1500 US dollars per month. And then what we can do is you can charge the card on file, which for subscriptions is ideal, or you can have an invoice emailed to them automatically if for whatever reason they're you know, paying or whatever it is. So it's consenting. Uh, this one, I don't have any cards on file because this is a sample account. What we're gonna do in this example is uh, you can also just add the payment method if you are talking to the person on the phone and everything, selling it like that. And this is a, which is a totally solid option for you to sell it. All you have to do is just be right here at the card method after you create the customer. We're just gonna play pretend like the card's already on there. Now what you can do is you can click start subscription, which is just pretty much gonna start it. Now if you normally click that, there's no card on file, it would start the subscription. Or what you can do is you can go schedule subscription. Now schedule subscriptions where you're actually gonna be able to handle all the um, information just as far as when it starts and everything. So for example, if you wanted it to start on the first of the month, um, you can choose on a custom date, for example, if you wanted to choose, like, let's say, for example, we're starting on the 15th. You can just choose right there, the time and whatnot, which looks like I started at midnight anyways. And then you can have it end on a specific time. Now, this is what's really important to the actual um, uh, payment amounts. For example, um, you can have it stop on a specific date. Um, I usually suggest doing after a specific number of cycles, depending on what, um, you know, what that actually means to you. Cause Usually when you have a payment plan, there's a set price for it. So let's say for example, someone's paying you 10,000 or agrees to pay you $10,000 for something. And then you're, um, you're charging them 2,500 up front to start. And then you're gonna charge them 50, uh, 1,500 a month for five months for six months of service, which is a pretty normal thing. Uh, we work with immigration firms. That's a, kind of a normal payment plan and everything depending on how people wanna pay. It just kind of depends how people wanna do it. So for example, let's say we want to do five payments of this, it's gonna end December 15th, 2020. You can click schedule subscription. All this information is gonna you know, be in here and everything. Normally when you click schedule, it's gonna just actually schedule it and start it. Um, what's gonna happen at that point is, is you can do it and, um, and you, then you have your subscription. So you can switch all the stuff if you're billing them like that. Uh, another way to start a subscription is to go to invoice, or sorry, not invoices, products. Then you can actually add a product. So for example, let's just um, pick um, automation package. If you want, you can add all this information in there. Pricing, you go standard pricing. Price, let's make it a 2,500, yeah, 2,500 a month. Recurring billing period is monthly. And then um, there's all these different options. So all you have to do is you just set this up. For example, you have this product right here and then you can set it up to where you can just bill the person monthly like this. So this isn't necessarily like a payment plan, I guess. It might be a way to actually have it be a payment plan in here. But you can set the pricing and have it be like that. But all you have to do is just make those products and then just charge the person like that, for, for example. So um, if you want to make this $2,500 recurring, you would just do save product. Then when you go into customers, you can go into invoices click new, Jane Doe. Okay, so for example, it's, for some reason it's not pulling up, but I think you guys get it. 
you would just have to go in here, uh, make this actual product and everything, and then actually just um, sell, sell, sell it to them for that much. So that is how you set up payment plans in Stripe. Uh, looks like I made a little bit of a blunder on the end, but I think you guys can figure it out as far as it goes. Stripe's an awesome tool, especially if you own a marketing agency or some type of service-based business where you have recurring charges, that's great. If you have some type of subscription, like um, like maybe you mail health information to people like once a month, this is a really good way to set it up. And if you have any more questions about how to set up Stripe and everything for um, as far as just how to use it from the dashboard, not necessarily the API, more than willing to post in the comments and feel free to subscribe if you want more videos like this.